Hey guys, just Jamie here with a Dollar Tree haul. But before we get started, I have a quick DT idea. Let's just call it that. Anyways, I know some of y'all have seen these little containers. Well, what would you do with them? You know, there's not a lot to, you know, drink in there or, you know, I wouldn't make a pitcher of Kool-Aid or juice, whatever. So what I decided to do was take some stickers, scissors, stickers that I bought a while ago at the Dollar Tree and I labeled them. One I labeled laundry detergent and one I labeled fabric softener. And of course I got me some good old Dollar Tree laundry detergent and do not sleep on the Dollar Tree detergent. Like I am you know hey I love this stuff so what I thought I would do was because you know the bottle is so ugly pour it in there of course keep your top because you know if you're anything like me I'm not good at eye measuring ta-da look at that how cute is that and then you have your little measuring and your laundry detergent then you have your fabric softener get your good old downy from the Dollar Tree and I would probably buy a couple of these maybe a couple more than two but then you fill them up and how cute is that you have your fabric softener and your laundry detergent is that not adorable well anyways that's just a DT idea but let's get into my haul. Let's get a little bit of this mess out the way. And let me bring you in a little bit. Come on, old girl. Have a talk with me. Have a talk with me. Anyways, so let's get into my Dollar Tree haul. Woo! Oh, look. I told y'all a story. I did buy more laundry detergent. More fabric softener. So let's add this in here, too. Hello? There you go. Now you look good and full. That looks much better. Tell me, how cute is that? Anyways, I am loving this teal color at the Dollar Tree. Um, I bought a bigger one of these, and what I've been using it for in my refrigerator is like when I defrost. Oh, let me pick you up a little bit. There you go. I feel like my hair was cut off. Um, what I've been doing is throwing out like my meat in there. I could take it out, um, wash it down, bleach it down. But I did pick up one of a uh, smaller one. Um, just for like I thought I might put like lunch meats and stuff like that so when the boys go get them they can just pull everything out use what they want and then just like put it back in there I think it was a good idea I did find one of these Milani crystal lip glosses in the color we'll just have to open it up and see what color it is well do they tell you what the color is well, it doesn't say the color on there, but it, it's like a red, like a pinkish red color. I'll swash it for you. Is that what they say? Swash it. So you can see what it looks like. And I think that's a good color for my complexion. So I did pick up some of that. Then I needed a new lip liner and this one is in Brandy Wine. So I picked up one of those. I need a water bottle like I need another hole in the head but of course I couldn't pass up this cute Chevron water bottle I don't even like it green but I thought that was cute so I did pick up one of those if any of y'all follow me on Instagram you will see I don't normally find anything I don't like at the Dollar Tree but I did buy one of those beaded frozen cups and oh my god the beads like popped out of it it was disgusting so i did take it back to the dollar tree and the people there are so good to me they just exchanged it for something else so i really don't highly suggest that you buy those cups because they're not good at all um i did pick up some of these glade bags and what i picked these up for was to put in the back of my cabinet for when my children use that last trash bag at 
10 o'clock at night and we don't have any more trash bags I thought this would be like a good backup you know just in case so I did pick up one box of those um, I took Sean and Lakin with me so we got a few snacks pork rinds hmm. Um, I did see some of this jasmine lavender hand wash and it says calming sleep so it's infused with essential oils let's see what it smells like it has a good smell um, I did pick up a bottle of that I've seen a lot of people haul the pink one and I have been looking for the pink one but I haven't found it but my Dollar Tree did have a set of these labella um, lotions and the lotions in here match one of them is a peppermint rosemary and I did see the big bottle of this over with the um, Mother's Day stuff that they're putting out um, then I did get the, the jasmine lavender I think this matches this so we'll try it out and see if it's like a good night like hand cream or something I'll let you know about that I did see, I did pick up some of the deco tape. I just couldn't help myself. And is that not cute? Let me put that up real close so you can see it. I love the little chevrons and the little white ones. If you are a baseball mom, you know that looks like a baseball threading. So I thought I could do something really cute with that, you know, since it's baseball season. Um, I did pick up this little tea light and it says it was in the it doesn't say anything it was with the mom's day stuff but um, I need to give somebody just a, a cute little thank you gift and I thought that was cute it has like a little tea light in it I think I might open it up and put like a more fancier like smell good candle but is that not cute and the packaging is so look it has a little card already on there and then the little candle in there. That's cute, I thought. Let me see if I can show y'all that. The little candle. And I've passed this up a thousand, thousand, thousand times. This charging dock station. Um, I'm going to give it a try and see how it works for my telephone. The ones, I thought they were only for like certain phones but my understanding is that it could be used for any like galaxies or any um, Android phones so I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes they have some more Cosmo coconut crunches oh my weakness coconut so I did pick up some of those I needed some baked beans and I just was gonna got them there because I didn't want to make another stop but we're having baked beans for dinner tonight and then we love is all we need I don't know of course the chevrons took me I love these signs and I've hauled several of these before but normally what I do is I buy these and then I buy a really really nice frame and I put them in the nice frame and I give them away as gifts or things like that and people seem to appreciate them and I think they're really cute that way so I did get that is that it I think that's it well that's it for the haul but I want to do a quick review a couple of weeks ago I and God please forgive me if I'm saying this wrong but I did um, haul a whole bunch of the Berlow um, Beverly Hill products and I want to tell you how I like the ones I've used so far okay first of all one of the things I've hauled was this bath soap um, and it's in the lemon and the mint I really 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 like this this is probably one of my favorite products that I've got from them um, it's very relaxing um, when you're sore that lemon smell I just say I really this is probably one of my favorite products that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree so this one is really really good and then I hauled the body wash too, hand in hand. They work really, really good together. I'm not big on like to mix scents and stuff like that. So if I'm going to go like floral, I'm going to use off floral when I take a bath or whatever. So I'm telling you, I really enjoy these two together. Now, with every up, there must be a down. I did try this Dead Sea Mineral Detoxifying Face Mask. And it says, um, you clean your face with warm water. 
Um, then you gently lay it over your face for three to five minutes. Gen and then you wipe, wipe it all off. I lasted maybe a minute. This burnt my face. It, I expected to have a little tingle, but after a minute, I gave up. I had to take it off. I did not like it. I will not use it again. It actually burnt, and I was really scared that my face would actually be red afterwards. Thank you, Jesus, it wasn't, but I did not care for this mask. So this one's a no. Um, I have been using this Jasmine Cherry Bloom a Lotion. Love it. Really, really, really love it. So I will say this is a yay. Um, I did try this coconut milk mango bath fizzy. This is just, I bought a couple of them. Um, I will say I was, I don't get any coconut from it. Matter of fact, I get more mango from it. Um, and it's more like what I want to think of. It's not like a bath bomb you get from Blush or anything like that. Of course, you pay a dollar, not ten dollars big difference but i i really expected it to to do more than what it did um i did instagram this so if you follow me on instagram you did see where i opened it up and i dropped it um i would say it maybe more of like a salt soak is what i'd i'd want to like compare it to um i am not a fan of mango so maybe that's why i did not care for the scent um, I really wanted that coconut tropical smell. I did not get that from this. Um, so I'm not impressed. I've got several more of these to try as I get through them and I do um, hauls. I will keep you informed of how I've been liking them so far. But um, I will say I did, I, there is one that I did forget. I guess I didn't bring it in here. I did use the bubble bath with this and I still the same thing. More of that mango earthy smell and no coconut smell. I want to smell coconut. That's me. I'm a coconut person. I love that scent. But I didn't get that from that. So, hmm, not a fan. So, guys, that is all for my Dollar Tree lesson today. Um, I guess until next time. Bye, guys.